In this example, we want to show that the function of f of x equals x to the one fifth is not differentiable at x equals to zero. Okay, so the way we can do this is using the alternate form of the derivative, which is what we see in this box here. Okay, so let's go ahead and apply this uh, uh, this definition to our function. Okay, so we're going to have uh, we're going to have f prime of zero is going to be equal to the limit as x approaches zero of our function. Okay, minus f of zero divided by x minus zero. Okay, so this is going to give us the limit as x approaches zero of our function, which is f of x is x to the one fifth minus uh, the function evaluate zero, so zero to the one fifth is just zero, okay, divided by x. All right, so this gives us the limit as x approaches zero of, okay, so x to the one fifth over x, uh, this is the same thing as x to the, so we can put, we can write like this, x to the one fifth times x to the negative one. Okay, and this is the same as the limit as x approaches zero of x to the negative four fifths. Okay, and this is the same as the limit as x approaches zero of one over x to the four fifths. Okay. So as x approaches zero, um, we have that uh, constant number divided by something getting smaller and smaller and smaller. So the overall result is going to give us infinity. Okay, so one over something getting smaller and smaller is gonna, the overall result is getting larger. Okay, so we get infinity here. So that tells us that in this case, the limit uh, is not approaching a finite value. Okay. So here the limit um, doesn't exist, okay? In fact, this tells us that since we're getting infinity, that would imply that we have an infinite, um, we have an infinite rise. So that would imply that the tangent line at zero is going to be, uh, for this function, is going to be x equals to zero, okay? So therefore, okay, right, since, Okay, so we can write since the limit doesn't exist, and this okay. Uh, in this case, the limit of our statement. Okay, so the limit of f of x minus f of zero, all divided by x minus zero, as x approaches zero, does not exist. Okay. It's it's, uh, it's approaching infinity. So all right. So therefore, the derivative of this function evaluate zero does not exist. Uh, thus, it's not differentiable. Okay, it's not differentiable at zero. Okay. All right, so here, down here is the picture, okay? So we have the, in blue is the graph of x to the one-fifth, okay? And there is, in red, there is the tangent line, okay? Intersecting the coordinate of the, of, at the origin. So you can see that the, that the slope of this tangent line is undefined, right? It has a slope of infinity, okay? So it has it, right? as an infinite rise, okay? All right, so, um, so that's, what this, that's what this information is telling us, okay? All right, and so uh, that's how we can show that this function is not differentiable at zero, okay?